Well, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and I am the Creole Crafter. Today I have four candy corn DIYs for you guys. So let's get started. DIY number one, I have some floral foam from Dollar Tree. I also have some apple barrel paint in yellow, pumpkin orange, and white. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is paint our floor foam, which I have already cut down into triangle shapes to form um, candy corns. So we're going to start with the bottom, and we're going to paint the bottom yellow. We're going to use the yellow paint. And then we're going to go above the yellow paint with the orange, and then we'll do the white. And we'll paint the whole entire piece, front, back, and sides. Okay, DIY number two. And you'll be seeing those candy corns after we're finished with DIY number two. I have one of those wooden crates from Dollar Tree, some of Dollar Tree felt stick-on letters, and I have some scrap burlap out of my stash. First thing we're gonna do is stain our wooden crate. And I'm gonna use some of the Waverly Antique Wax. And we'll be also staining the wooden mushrooms. And those wooden mushrooms also came from Dollar Tree. We are going to stain the entire crate and the entire mushrooms. And all I'm using here is, is just a piece of rag that I had in my stash. And um, you can also use a baby wipe or your paint brushes or whichever you choose. And you just want to put some of the antique wax on and take um, your rag or wipe and just uh, wipe off the excess. And let it completely dry. And you're going to do the same thing for all four of your mushrooms. Now that everything has dried, the um, antique wax is completely dry. What we're going to do next is we're going to take our burlap, and I have cut down three strips. What we're going to do here is we're going to take it, and we're going to place it on the top of the crate, and we're going to hot glue it around the, just the top of the crate, all the way around, all four sides. And we're going to use, well, I'm using hot glue. But, of course, you can use tacky glue or wood glue or even super glue, whichever you have. And you just want to place it around the top of your crate like this and then just um, glue it down. And I'm also going to fray the ends. You don't have to fray the ends of yours, but I chose to fray the ends of mine because that's the look that I, you know, that I wanted around my crate. And I'm also putting my finger protector on so I don't burn my finger because my fingers have enough burns already. So, yeah. And the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to take that, the rest of your scrap burlap, and we're going to put it on the inside of the crate. And then we're going to take those felt leather, letters, those felt peel and stick letters and we're going to spell out the word fall you don't have to spell out the word fall you can spell out harvest or whatever phrase or text you like i'm using the word fall and i'm just going to peel and stick those letters and put them on the crate and um try to get them as centered as possible and then the next thing we're going to do is take our mushrooms and the flat part of the mushroom is where you want to put your adhesive and you want to attach that to the bottom of your crate in all four corners. I want to take this time and thank all my subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. You're so deeply appreciated. And thanks to all my new subscribers and hello and welcome to the family. And if you're just watching, just stopping by, hello and welcome. And also consider subscribing so you too can become a part of my YouTube family. And if there's anything in this video that you like, don't forget, give me a big thumbs up. 
and I took some of that Hulu skirt and I cut it down in the shreds and I'm just putting it inside of the crate so it can be as hay and I'm just going to stick the little can of corns um, down in the crate and I think this came out absolutely adorable. And you don't just have to put your candy corns in the crate. If you want to do the crate with the burl, I like that. You can also put um, pumpkins or whatever you like. But I decided that I wanted to do the little candy corn crate. And there it is. Isn't it just as cute as it can be? Don't forget, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I also took some of that gingham, gingham urgent, right, urgent white. Ribbon from Dollar Tree, and I also added a little button. And you can accessorize your crate as you wish. Okay, guys, DIY number two. I have one of those wooden triangle shadow boxes from Dollar Tree. I also have some of those stick-on letters from Dollar Tree and the apple barrel paint in the white, yellow, and pumpkin orange. First thing we're going to do is paint. We're going to paint that shadow box front, back, and side. And I gave my two coats of paint because the paper that's on the inside of the shadow box I had like the little design as you can see the color design and we don't want any of that to show through if you do have that inside of your shadow box so you want to give it a couple of coats of the white paint to make sure that everything is covered and everything um, is neat and um, it's not going to show through when you come back with your um, yellow orange and white paint and paint the entire thing, the front, the back, and the sides, if I didn't say that before. Now that it's completely dry, I gave mine two coats, because like I said, I wanted to be sure that that other color didn't come through. And I'm gonna do, excuse me, we're gonna follow the same steps we did in DIY number one. We're gonna paint the bottom yellow, the middle orange, and of course the top is already painted white. And I didn't use any painter's tape because I didn't want the, the sharp, neat lines. Because um, I'm going to do just like a little, just a little slightly blending of the paint. Um, where the paint meets, where the yellow meets the orange. We're going to blend that in just a little bit. We don't want any even or fine lines um, to separate our paint. That's to make it look more original more lifelike if that makes sense and i don't know exactly how many coats i did i just um just kept adding the paint until i got the um color you know that that i wanted if you want yours to be lighter, of course you do less um, coats. I think I might have gave mine maybe about three or four coats of paint because I wanted that deep, deep color to come to, you know, to show through. Okay, now that the paint has dried, I originally was gonna go with the green peel and stick letter, but then I decided to go with the black peel and stick letters. And I spelled out the words fall, sweet, fall, Again, you don't have to use those words. You can use whatever text or phrase your heart desire. And I have some of that um, fall ribbon from Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree with the pumpkins. And I'll be making a little simple bowl. And I also will take one of the maple leaves and hot glue it on there and add the bow to that. And also add a little button. And 
And of course, you don't have to add the leaf or the button. You can leave yours just as is. I thought that the, the bow and the button and a maple, maple leaf would make it look, you know, kind of high end, sort of say. And here's my candy corn fall sweet ball. I think it came out absolutely adorable. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think of this wooden candy corn. Okay, DIY number four. I have one of those wooden pineapple I think it's a candle holder uh, glue stick and some treat bag with treat bags with the candy corns on it from Dollar Tree and that wooden pineapple also came from Dollar Tree so what we're gonna do first is we want to cut that top off of the pineapple because we're gonna use it as a planner we're gonna make a little candy corn planner box and all I'm doing is taking my utility knife and I'm going to score it a few times until I get a deep enough cut in it where I can just pop that top piece off. And that's all you need to do is just score it a few times with a sharp, sharp blade. And I'm gonna take my sanding block, what I got from Dollar Tree, and just sand it down and make it smooth to get those rough edges off from where we cut it. We're gonna take our treat bag, and we're gonna cut it down to size. We're gonna place our planter box on the, mm, just said the word, just said it and brains and froze up already. The treat bag, we're gonna place it on the pineapple on the treat, the box, the pineapple, the box on the treat bag. We're gonna trace it, y'all, and we're gonna cut out what we trace, and we're gonna use the glue stick and glue it to the box. So all I'm doing right here is putting the glue stick on. And I've used this glue stick numerous amounts of times when I use like um, cardstock or copier paper or something on, you know, in that line of material. And I've never had a problem with my paper lifting up with using that, you know, a glue stick with that because the paper is thick enough. I don't have to use like high glue or mod podge. So right here I took a piece of floor foam, put it down inside of the box, covered the whole block box with the um, treat bag paper on um, the front, the back, and the sides. And right here I'm just going to make a little floor arrangement. I am not a florist. I'm just doing sticking the picks down in the floor foam until my eyes are happy. And um, I think that's what you should do too. Because, like I said, I'm not a florist. But if you like the way I cut my stems and stick them down in the floor and arrange my arrangement, um, hey, you can do as I do. But just that, you know, I'm not a florist. I'm just 
randomly placing them in the floor foam until my eyes are happy. And I didn't have a particular reason to pick those <clears throat> um, flowers. I just rushed into my flower stash and just picked out some picks. Um, whatever my hand touched first, that's what I chose. But overall, I think it came out absolutely cute. I really like the arrangement. And right there, the little pumpkin came off of the pick, so I just set it in there. I'll probably hot glue it in later um, so it can stay, but it's just sitting right there on the top. And there it is, guys. Isn't it adorable? I think it came out absolutely adorable. But I say I just was sticking the picks in anywhere. Um, yeah. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think of this candy corn planner with the anything goes floor arrangement centerpiece okay and here are all four of my diy projects i think each and every one of them in my opinion are absolutely adorable leave me a comment let me know what you think I think I might have should have put a bow too on that um, floor, on that floor box, planter box. What do you guys think? Think I should have did a bow or uh, made a bow out of jute twine for the planter box? Let me know what you think about that one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And if there's anything in this video that you like, give me a big thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to become a part of my YouTube family. And if so, don't forget to hit the notification bell, drop down, click all. YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. And don't forget, always get lost in what you love. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.